Hello, welcome to The Right Place. My name is John Watson, and this is a special video aimed at charities, non-profit organizations, non-profit companies, and public benefit organizations that present at networking events. Myself and Rudolf have been running networking events for a while now, and oftentimes we have a charity partner at our events. We give them a couple of minutes to promote themselves, to raise awareness, and to hopefully get some donations, either in money or in kind, and to network with the attendees at these events. Now, I thought it would be prudent to record a special video directly aimed at such organizations to help them get the most out of their networking event. And I'm going to be quoting a couple of resources, and you'll find the links in the description below. And I really hope that this video will help you maximize your opportunity to present your organization and the amazing work that it does at a networking event. The first source that I'm going to quote is The First Minute by Chris Fenning. It's a great little book, and I think everyone should read it. And what I want to really, really emphasize is that you need to maximize your time in front of the audience. If you've got five minutes, you haven't got five minutes to give the history of the organization. If you've got five minutes, you haven't got five minutes to tell everyone about a specific case or a specific incident that happened at the organization. Five minutes is five minutes, and you need to grab the audience's attention right away and help them understand why they should care about your organization. And then you need to activate them in either a way of giving love, attention, support, encouragement, anything like that, and you want them to remember you. So if they do come up with extra money or they think of someone that could maybe help you, they reach out and do that. If you're going to bore them to death and you're going to start getting overly emotional about your charity or crying or anything like that, you're going to lose the audience. Yes, your charity is important and you care about it, but only you know the inner workings of your charity. You need to see your five minutes in front of the networking audience as an advert, not an infomercial. It's impossible to tell the audience every little bitty thing about your organization and the amazing work that it does or its history or who's involved, et cetera, et cetera. So to quote Chris Fenning, you need to use the GPS method. Goal, problem, solution. You need to broadcast clearly what is the goal of our organization. You need to help the audience understand what is the problem that you are solving. Why do you exist? And then you need to help them understand what solution do you bring. That will help them care. If they understand why you exist, what problem are you solving, and what solution are you bringing, it's very easy for them to get on board, to donate, to share contacts, share connections. But if you stand there for five minutes and this isn't clear to the audience, they're not going to be able to get onto your page to connect with you, build a relationship, become a donor, become a sponsor, become a contributor to your organization's success. So it's incredibly important for them to understand the GPS of your organization. Why do you exist? What problem do you solve? And what are the solutions that you bring? The next thing that you need to understand is anyone can ask for money. If you're going to stand there and say, we need 100,000 Rand, that's a lot of money. But if you're going to stand there and say, we need 10 people who are going to give 10,000 Rand for us to build a new building or to reorganize um, our shelter or to paint and upgrade this or that, then people can get on board. But asking for a huge pie in the sky number turns off the audience very, very quickly. So we want to get really specific. It doesn't help if you have 20 needs and you use your five minutes to go through all 20 of them. Think of one specific thing that you need that this audience can hopefully give you. It might be money. It might be a new fridge. It might be computer equipment. It might be someone to do the books. It might be an upgrade to your website. What is the most pressing need that you need now? Yes, most of it does involve money. So if you need money, ask for something specifically. We need 5,000 Rand to buy a new printer. We need 10,000 Rand to do this or that. People need to understand what they're giving the money for. If it's just a blank check that you need, 
or it's just money down a big black hole, it makes it very difficult for potential donors or sponsors to get on board with you. But if people understand that you have a specific need, and if I give my money tonight or this morning, this money will help that need. So we need to get on board in terms of what do we actually need and what do we want the audience to give. We also need to be aware of once-off donations. Once-off donations are good and they can save the day, but you should actually be aiming for building a long-term relationship with people, that they become regular donors, monthly donors. This is where the real value lies. A once-off donation can plug a hole, but consistent donations is what keeps organizations afloat. So give them an opportunity to sign up as a regular donor, either with a QR code or your bank details and say for 100 rand a month, you can sponsor a meal for a child or for 500 rand a month, you can sponsor 10% of a teacher's salary. For 5,000 rand a month, you can sponsor a whole class food. So give them different options for them to sign up on a regular basis, monthly, quarterly. And then we need to talk about the actual networking. Now, what I've come to experience, and you might agree with me, is that people that work at charities, NPOs, um, public benefit organizations, are oftentimes quite timid, quiet, and they struggle to network. So this is where I want to bring the second resource that you need to get your hands on. It's a book by Helen Nicholson called Networking for Introverts. And it's a wonderful encyclopedia breaking down what are introverts, what are extroverts, and what are the introvert superpowers when it comes to network. I really believe that reading this book will unlock a lot of answers for you in how you should approach networking at events, especially when you are there representing a charity or a public benefit organization. So please get your hands on that book. Look at our interview with Helen Nicholson as well, where we discuss how to network when you are an introvert. This will give you more confidence in approaching people and networking at the event. Remember, you shouldn't just see your attendance at the event as, I've only got five minutes to talk in front. It's what you do before and after that part of the evening where you can really build relationships and make some really good connections. So my advice there is get there early. Get there early, meet the organizer. You might meet myself, you might meet Rudolf. It's good to connect and check out the scene a little bit. Get comfortable with the venue. Make sure you sit near the front that people can see you and work the room from the get-go. Meet people, walk around, introduce yourself. Tell them that you are talking tonight. That is a great line of uh, an opening line to, to break the ice with someone. Tell them that, hey, I'm John, I'm representing this charity, and I'm going to be talking tonight. What is your name? Get to know the people there. Don't just start asking for things. Listen to who these people are. They might be able to, able to open more doors and opportunities for you later during the evening. So meet as many people as you can, because this also gives you comfort about who's who in the room, so that when you get up on stage eventually and you start looking around, you will see some friendly faces that you met already. This will really, really help you get comfortable in front of them. The more comfortable you are, the better your message is going to be carried across. And finally, the last resource that I want to bring to your attention is Rudolf's own book, which is called Sustainable NPO Funding in South Africa. It's a wonderful resource that breaks down how you can use the triple BE prescript to your advantage and also talks about diversifying funding options and how to correctly structure your NPO. If your NPO has these basic things in place, you make it a lot more attractive as an investment option or a donation option. No one wants to get caught with their pants down and their admin being found wanting. So if you tick all of the right boxes and a donor can see that, then they're going to be more comfortable to invest. So I really want to encourage you that when you attend a networking event and you've got a slot to present your charity or your organization, to keep these three things in mind. You've got to maximize the time. You haven't got five minutes to tell the story. You need to get to the point fast. The goal, the problem, and the solution that your organization provides. Then you need to work the room and maximize the opportunity of being in a room with 
people that are excited to network and make new connections. Be excited as well. Be high energy, be approachable, smiling and friendly, and see who you can meet in the room. And then thirdly, you need to have your admin and all of those ducks in a row. This will really help you stand out from a lot of NPOs that have seen their demise because their admin wasn't in place. It eventually catches up with you. So I really, really want to encourage you to make the most of your opportunity when you come to the Clara Business Network or the right place, Irene in Centurion, Pretoria. I really want to encourage you that you don't have to be scared. It's okay to be nervous, but that there are resources there to help you do your best on the night. The better you do and the better your connection you make with the audience, the more success you will probably have when you approach them for things that you need. So I hope this video helps you. Feel free to contact myself or Rudolf for any other tips. Check out the resources that we've mentioned. And I wish you all the best as you do the hard yards and network and connect with people in helping your organization grow. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time at the right place.